Are you serious? Are you serious? We are very serious. We have an active shooting situation going on right now in Philadelphia. Very, very, very dangerous situation. Something right out of a, a scene that, you know, I mean, like training day or something. Okay, some kind of a movie where it's just unbelievable. Now, here's the situation. Four police officers have been shot. This is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Four, I repeat, four police officers have been shot. One has been shot in the heart. One has been shot in the head. One has been shot uh, uh, in, a, in a hand, and one has another one has been shot. I don't know exactly his condition. The suspects, there's still one man in the bottom floor. It's a three-level home. Uh, the man, there's a cop on the top, a, a narcotics uh, undercover agent who has two suspects handcuffed and he has them under control and he's on the top floor but he can't come down because on the second floor there's another cop who has another suspect handcuffed and down but he can't come down because on the bottom floor is a suspect who has apparently an AK-47 or he's got a lot of ammunition and he is shooting through the floor trying to hit the police officers who are up above him who have the other suspects handcuffed and in custody. Now, meanwhile, he's been shooting out the window, hitting the cops on the street, of which four of them have been shot. So there's three suspects in custody, but I'm not so sure if the three in custody are from, that are out, have already been left the building, or are we talking about the two on the top floor and the one in the bathroom that's still handcuffed, being held by these two DEA agents or undercover narcotic agents there in Philadelphia. I, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, if the three that we say are in custody, are you meaning in custody in the building? So again, for those of you who are joining me, here's a very strange, very serious situation. I need prayer right now for these four Philadelphia police officers have been shot. I repeat, four Philadelphia police police officers have been shot and are uh, one in the head, one in the heart, one in the hand, and another police officer, I'm not sure where he was hit. They're all alive from what I understand, but in the house, there's a guy loose with a, apparently some kind of, a lot of ammunition, who's been shooting rounds everywhere. Well, he's also been shooting up through the bottom through the ceiling up into the next floor uh, because up above him is a police officer, an undercover narcotics officer who has two suspects handcuffed and down. But he can't come down because the guy in the bottom is shooting at him. There's another police officer in the bathroom has a third suspect handcuffed and down, but he can't come out either because of the guy loose on the bottom shooting up through the ceiling. So very insane situation here. Are you serious? Are you seriously serious? And it's it's an active situation. It's going on as we speak in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've got some more information, and that info was coming to me from word on the street. I'm just getting. Let me tell you what else. Philadelphia police are shot. They've been hit, and four of them have been hit in a North Philadelphia neighborhood. A large police presence is there, folks, responding to this shooting incident in a residential area of um, uh, there in a nice town section of the city. Officers took cover behind squad cars, blocked off surrounding streets as they were fired upon by this unidentified shooter on the bottom floor of this home. A Philadelphia Police Department spokesperson told NBC News that several officers had been hit. Well, we know, we now know that's four and described them in a very active and ongoing situation here. Two officers are above the suspect in the same building. One has two men down and handcuffed, the, and, but he can't come down out of that floor because above him uh, is the, uh, sh the shooter. And at the same time, uh, while that's going on, he can't. The, there's another police officer 
undercover who's got another suspect handcuffed and down in the bathroom. He can't come down either because the one guy that's left is shooting rounds through the ceiling up, up at them and shooting out the window, picking off four police officers. This thing is very dangerous now, okay? We're talking extremely dangerous situation going on right now in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A very active, very dangerous, very bloody situation. Uh, it's unclear to how many more people may get hurt before this is over. Uh, or there's a nearby campus for Temple University's Health Science Center is under lockdown as this situation continues to unfold. Also, the SEPTA, the city's public transit provider, reported it will temporarily bypass Erie Station where the shooting situation is involving and stay away from there, which is only a few blocks away from the site of the shooting. They're not even going to go close to there. They're going to stay away from that area. We have a situation developing here of a, uh, of a, very, a very dangerous, very dangerous situation. And, uh, you know, people need, we need to pray like we've never prayed before. We are dealing with uh, some individuals now that have absolutely gone off the chain uh, in this shooting. Uh, Billy Night Train is just now breaking in in the chat room. Thank you, Billy. Says, Pastor, there's now six officers shot by this active shooter situation in Philadelphia as shots continue to be fired as we speak. So according to Billy Night Train, there's now been six police officers have been shot. Six officers shot. One officer in a upstairs has two suspects handcuffed and down, but can't bring them out of the building because a man is in the bottom floor who's been shooting out the window and has shot apparently six police officers, also turns the gun, shoots it through the ceiling. So... The, the, the undercover cop who's got two men uh, handcuffed up at the top can't come down. An, a, another police officer undercover has another suspect handcuffed in a bathroom. He can't come down either because of the guy on the bottom who is shooting rounds through the ceiling. And at the same time, he's turning around and shooting outside the windows and has hit six police officers. Are you serious? Are you serious? What in the world is going on in Philadelphia tonight? And so we thought we would break in live with this because this is a dangerous situation. This is insane. This is, in, this is serious. But while this is going on, you got the China situation. Well, that, I mean, which is unfolding, where they're about ready to roll in with the tanks and the armored vehicles. And did you know there's 80,000 Americans that live in Hong Kong and 1,000 American companies? Are there 80,000 Americans live in Hong Kong and China's about ready to roll in there like it's Tiananmen Square? While that's going on, Israel continues to be in a situation as enemies continue to surround them uh, as uh, Russia today allowing Russia, allowing Syrians and uh, Hez I mean, allowing Hezbollah terrorist groups and Iranian soldiers to camp along the border of the Golan Heights with Israel. It's the Russians that cleared the way to give them the safe passage. And they admit they did. And so now this whole situation is getting worse. Uh, we have six police officers have been shot. I repeat, six police officers have been shot in Philadelphia. One police officer has two men Two, uh, one undercover narcotics officer has two uh, suspects handcuffed and down on the floor, up on the top floor of this building, but he can't come down because of a shooter on the bottom floor firing rounds through the ceiling. You have another uh, undercover police officer that's got a third suspect handcuffed and down in the bathroom. He can't come out either because... He can't because of the gunman who's shooting through the ceiling. The gunman is not only shooting through the ceiling, but he's also shooting out the window where he has wounded six police officers there in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is a drug bust that has went completely sideways. This is a situation of uh, that has went completely off the rails. Completely, they've come off the chain. And uh, it's an insanity. It's an insane. It's a dangerous it's a lethal situation unfolding in Philadelphia. There's crime, there's carnage, there's bloodshed, 
there's uh, criminals, there's wounded, there's people shot in the head, shot in the heart, there's folks that are crying, there's citizens, the train station is shut down, the kids are running down the streets. It's an incredible situation in a neighborhood. It's lawlessness. Thank you, Diane. It is absolute lawlessness. But this is being encouraged. This is being promoted. This is being uh, pushed upon the American people by so many factions and so many different groups that are, are making us seem as if this is the way. But this should not be the way. I want to welcome all 1,000 1, people joining me right now live for this situation. We need somebody to do some praying. I'm praying for all the wounded officers, six wounded officers. It was a drug bust that has gone completely bust. It is, but although these narcotic officers actually have three suspects handcuffed above them, but can't come down. Got one guy on the bottom. He's absolutely insane. Uh, it's just unbelievable. The, the shooting, the guns, the bullets are flying. The kids are crying. People are running down the streets. It's pandemonia. It's insanity. Let me tell you what else is going on right now on this situation. Let's get a quick update because it seems as if what we're witnessing here is a scene unfolding in real time and in real, it's still daylight. The sun will be starting to set soon in the East Coast, but these police officers have been shot. They have been wounded. They have been hurt. They are still in a, a very vulnerable situation. The neighborhood has got to be alerted and people are still very upset. I'm gonna check another location here. Hang on one moment. Brock just came down a few minutes ago. He had gotten some information about what's happening here in this Philadelphia shooting, but this is a madness. It's, it's mayhem, it's murderous, it's meanness. And it, it seems like what we're dealing with is something that has, uh, you know, I mean, whoever thought we would continue to see these kinds of crazy situations developing up to the minute situations right here, right now. Um, let's find out what we got right now. Hang on one second. Suspect is still firing at officers. It's an ongoing shooting situation uh, and it's not getting any better right now. I think that what we're dealing with is uh, very ugly, very wicked. Uh, and the police are trying to surround the location. They're gonna have to try to figure out a way to get in there and, uh, and get to this, these guys who I'm sure using um, um, snipers, they got to figure out a way to get in there and get a clear shot at this guy. They're going to have to surround this building with snipers. Maybe they're going to have to try to rush the place. I don't think they would want to do that. But um, it's, it's a SWAT teams. People are being assembled. This is like a war zone. And uh, the suspect has barricaded himself inside a building on 15th Street for uh, six, uh, according to the Billy Knight train, his reports are six police officers have been shot, uh, and at least one gunman has also been hit, according to authority. Uh, the gunman is still shooting out the windows at the police. The police cars have been seen speeding toward the scene in North Philadelphia. Uh, they've completely surrounded the area. One narcotics police officer has two suspects handcuffed and down, but he's on the top floor and he can't get down because of the guy on the bottom who keeps shooting bullets up through the ceiling. And then there's a second police officer undercover who's got a third suspect handcuffed, got him down inside the bathroom, but he too can't come down due to the guy on the bottom floor shooting up through the ceiling to try to kill them while shooting out the window trying to kill the police officers in the street, of which he apparently has hit six. We have reports he hit four. We have reports now that he has hit six. One woman has said she heard over 100 gunshots. She saw people running for their lives. Kids were screaming. Kids were crying. I heard so many gunshots. I'm scared to death, she said. Agents from the ATF, the Alcohol, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and Explosives, they're here. ATF is here. Uh, we also know that the CIA is here. The FBI is here. Uh, SWAT tactical teams are on the scene. The uh, sheriff department's here. The, the, the Philadelphia Police Department's here. Uh, the cr crime, uh, the, the DEA is here. Uh, everybody's in on the scene. And uh, we're going to try to keep a close eye on what's going on. It's a very, very precarious, it's, it's, it's still an active situation. We don't know what's going to happen next. We're praying for these people. We know that the police are doing everything they can do. I don't know how much ammunition this one guy's got left, 
but shots just fired out again just here in the last couple minutes. He's still in there. He's still shooting. He's still opening up on people. It's a drug deal gone completely bad. It's went sideways. It's come unhinged. It's come unglued. They've come un... Um, they've, they, listen, this thing is completely like the, off the chain. Everything has come uh, completely come down. It is an absolute lethal situation now. And uh, we're praying for all the wounded police officers. We're praying for them, their families, and for this community. Uh, again, I still have four uh, police officers shot. But Billy and I train just came on here a few minutes ago in the chat room. Uh, confer- saying that the, the word on the street was that six officers have been hit. I can't confirm that yet other than Billy Night Train, which is a very, 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 very reliable source, and he does a good job trying to find out what's exactly going on. Now, we're going to be back later tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. I'll be live. We're going to be talking about the five waves of energy. We're going to talk about the little green file, the NASA file uh, with Rex Bear. NASA, apparently something that Rex Bear had, who broadcasted on YouTube, something he said, information he got, was noticed by the, uh, by the NASA scientists, and they recorded it on the little green file. We're going to be talking to Rex Bear about that to try to get an understanding of just what this means as it relates to Planet X, Nibiru, Planet Number 9, what's coming, how soon, what about the Jupiter collision, what else is coming? What is Nibiru, Planet X? What is this going to mean uh, as we are, are looking to the, uh, the in these last days? And certainly the crime, the violence, the madness is certainly taking place right before our very eyes. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We'll be live again at 10 p.m. Eastern. We will probably come on early. I think we will come on early. So be ready. It could be 945. Be ready. Be on time. And be prepared. Jesus is coming soon. We're living in the absolute last days.